canceled. That's what many travelers are seeing at O'Hare Airport on the info board now left stranded scrambling to find another flight. You just got to think on your feet. You got to say, OK, what's my next option? Sitting by himself with his luggage at his side and a phone in hand, now left scrolling for new plans. I'm just in the process of trying to see which uh, direction I'm going to go. But at this point, Ed Farley's destination. I haven't been home in a while in D.C., so I figured I'd go home and uh, visit some family and friends. Is nowhere far. I'll probably just end up getting a hotel and then try out in the morning. He's now one of the many travelers grounded at airports nationwide as multiple airlines are either delaying or canceling flights during this holiday travel rush. In fact, more than 2000 flights in the US now scrapped this weekend. That's according to the flight aware tracking website. 72 of them grounded at O'Hare Airport with Delta Airlines making up the most number of cancellations. United not too far behind. I was flying out of uh, Delta. But now I'm going to try a Southwest and see what happens. Some of the cancellations were caused by the threat of rough weather, especially in the Pacific Northwest, also causing the travel headaches, airline crew and staff calling out sick due to the Omicron surge. But despite this holiday pause and travel, Farley is still remaining persistent on getting home to D.C. You're still going to have to get to where you're going. And despite the cancellations and delays, the TSA has screened more than 1.7 million travelers yesterday, which is the lowest number since December 15. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.